I'm Tiny Kerridge from Tiny's Tackle. Um, I've been selling fishing tackle for as long as I can remember, nearly 40 years, 40 years in the shop this year. And I've been fishing since I don't know when and I absolutely love it and I've still got a lot of enthusiasm for the game. And I just want to show you one of my rigs today, which um, a few of us worked out that could work sometimes. Sometimes you're fishing in a match and it's very, um, hard to get a fish and you're scratching around and you're looking for something that might just catch you a fish. Um, what we've done, we devised this rig which we call a Wackanoster and the way it works is the whole length of the rig, I don't know if you can see it there, is about 70 centimetres. It's not very long at all, it's very condensed. Um, I use, I've got red amnesia on these stews but I tend to use clear a lot, I alternate you know and just try anything sometimes. Some things work, some things don't. Um, the snoods are very short. The whole rig is very compact. And you've got a spring at the top to take the pressure of the cast. That's a Gemini spring at the top. That, that will take the pressure of the cast. It also allows everything to clip down nice and neatly. And what happens with these, um, it's not very easy to do it on the video because I've got no, no one holding the top. But you clip your first snood onto the bottom of the impact lead. Your second one goes into the cascade swivel like that. It's very much easier to do on a rod this is but there's the cascade. Don't go in any holes just clips to it. That's your second one and your third one which is got the spring on it will always accommodate down to the the next impact shield. So everything becomes tight this is attached with an impact lead to the top of your rod, but now all of a sudden this Wackenoster type rig is coming together. Now if you look carefully, you've got a very small rig, short rig for casting. Your snoods are very short, everything's compact. Possibly, I can't guarantee it, but if you cast this rig against another one, you may get yourself another 10 yards, and that can be crucial in a match when you really want to catch a fish. And even if it's blowing, it's windy, it's good. The whole thing's compact onto the impact lead. When the impact lead hits the water, once again you'll see the pressure of the water will push it off and all these spring off, always come off. They'll, they'll never get, ta it, when you're showing it on the video, it's perhaps not quite so easy, but they'll never tangle, they always come off, believe me. And it allows you free baits at extreme distance, um, I mean, I've got B940 Camasan size twos on there. So you can put a nice bit of bait on, you can whack it a long way, it doesn't tangle. And believe me, if you try one of these rigs, we sell them in the shop and they retail, they're 14 99 that's a pack of five. And they're absolutely brilliant. And someday when you're not catching, the other thing it's great for is the guy who's, who's very much an amateur, because if he's got a shorter, more compact rig, he'll find it so much easier to cast than having a rig that's twice as long and everything flapping all around him and catching. So it's pretty simple. And obviously it gives, it's the kind of rig that a, a normal guy who just goes fishing, he'll improve his casting with and he'll improve his fishing. So they're very nice. They've got stops on again, like I mentioned in the other video. You've got a power gum there and you've got a, a sequin and again, that so that you can put all your bait down nice and compact right on the hook rather than have it all over the place, you and me. So they're really nice. I know I've got red amnesia on there, I don't know, sometimes red. Most time clear, I like clear. But it's just something different, you know. I put the hook on the impact lead as you can see. Your second hook goes, if you can see that on the camera, that goes onto the cascade. You mustn't put it through any swivel holes or anything stupid like that. It just rests on that cascade, if you can see, nice and neatly. And what happens is, when that hits the water, the impact lead will ping off, and that will always come off that second hook. Now, it's very difficult to show you on the camera, but I promise you, it will never get caught, because one releases the other. And I've never had it catch and get, get caught. That will just come off of there. As soon as one comes off, 
it triggers the whole three, the whole other two above, and they just come straight off, and the whole three come off in a crescendo, and they're absolutely brilliant. And because everything's short and compact, it casts a long way. It'll also help the, the angler who's not quite so skillful. It'll, it'll actually help him, but these Cascade Swivels, swivels from Breakaway, they are the absolute business. And as you say, that's just trapped in between two beads, um, two crimps. Don't crimp, your, don't crimp that too harshly when you crimp. Always make sure it doesn't move, but you don't want to go too mad. People go mad and they'll damage the line. So that's quite important. And then you've got 60 pound, once again, you've got 60 pound grease weasel on there. And Amnesia snooze around about 20 pound. And it's a nice rig. At the top end of the rig, you've got, you want a, a link clip, which goes to your main line, um, to this swivel. And then if you see here, you've got um, a Gemini spring system there. And why that's quite neat is because it takes the cushion of the cast with a spring, but also it's very nice when you're tackling it up because if it don't quite reach properly, you know you can just pull it down on the spring, which is nice. So you can always have that one nice and tight. The spring will take the impact when you cast and pull it down so that it, it doesn't um, rip the bait or anything like that. It'll just take that little bit of pressure off uh, um, when you're casting for long distance casting. It's nice to have these Gemini springs at the top. Um, most people use them on all their rigs. Um, I don't sell them with springs because it's too complicated for the average guy. But it's a nice little touch, you know, and if they want me to make them with springs on, we'll custom build rigs for people and make them with springs. It's just, it adds to the cost, and if guys are coming in buying rigs, they don't want to pay 20 quid for five rigs, you know. They can live with 14 or 12, 10 pound or 12 pound, but you, you've got to be careful of cost, because these aren't cheap.